So we'll pick up here, we'll go to the master bedroom. There's stairs going down to the basement here. We'll walk back to the master bedroom. There's a half bath here off of the main floor. Very well set up with a pedestal sink. Lots of space. So we go into the uh, master. You'll see tray ceilings here in the master bedroom with a very nice cover palette. And then excellent views outside and your own walkout to the deck. And as you'll notice, the deck itself has a uh, railing there to separate the master deck from the lower deck. So in case of parties, you'll have people going through your room. And as I said, it's got 180 degree views. Beautiful wood floors here. Um, lots of areas to put uh, hanging pictures. There's an intercom system throughout the home. And then a gorgeous ensuite bathroom. Uh, marble throughout, granite countertops and a heated floor. We've got a beautiful uh, soaking tub with jetted uh, tub as well, and then view out the side. You notice no neighbors, so there's actually no need for window treatments in here. And you have a giant steam shower. You'll notice the glass encasement from floor to ceiling, because down here, that is the steam area for your, your shower. So, got two shower heads, it's very, very pretty. And then looking back the other way, you can see Lots of room here in the cabinetry and set up for uh, the master bath with the ladies area for uh, doing makeup and what have you and dual vanities and lots of storage. Behind me, I will go into the uh, main closet and it's just a standard closet, but quite honestly, there's a lot of room in here. So you've got built-ins all over the place. So you can put in other uh, pieces of furniture in here if need be. But basically a large walk-in closet with uh, wooden floors and a dressing mirror right there in the middle. Okay, we'll walk back through the uh, master bedroom and we'll go down into the uh, basement. So as I said, you walk through here, got the vanity there, there's storage plenty. You come back into the dining room, there's your front door, and we'll go downstairs into the basement. This is a great entertainment space. It's got a full... Uh, bedroom down here for guests as well as a full bathroom and a small multimedia room but what really is the the benefit here is you've got a great casual environment a very elegant kind of a, a man's retreat if you will uh, great for entertaining and then a killer bar this bar was brought in from an actual pub up in Pennsylvania and put down in here tons of seating You've got a tap system, a kegerator, lots of uh, bar space behind the counter for all of your uh, bar paraphernalia. You've got a uh, refrigerated wine cooler. And behind the bar, I'll show you that in just a second, you've got an ice maker as well as a refrigerator as well. So we'll go behind the bar. Uh, great entertainment space. Got plenty of storage back here as well. So you'll see there's a, another refrigerator here. You've got an ice maker there and a dishwasher as well. And then right off the bar, we've got additional storage for pots and pans, what have you down here. So as we look out across from the bar, if you're standing here as a bartender, there's different mirrors. You've got it set up as a little pub down here with a TV area and uh, just a great, great entertainment space. So you've got your stone tile floor as well as your hardwoods with uh, brick pillars excellent views out the back to the deck so you've got two level deck upstairs and down you have a full bathroom down here so if you're at the pool which i'll show you in a little bit you've got tons of space to change take showers and what have you a door going outside once again here's the bar area and over here i'll show you in just a second we've got a walk-in wine uh, one room, if you will, the TV. But you see that the ceilings here are all wood, which present you know very, very well with an excellent fireplace. And it's just a nice room. You're not, you have another um, master size guest room over there. I'll take you back here to the wine area, or the wine room, I should say. So you got tons of room for storing wine, uh, the stuff that doesn't necessarily need to be refrigerated and all this stays. Then we walk outside to the, uh, the deck, 
and the deck is very well done. It connects over to the back of the house. This is the top of the four car garage over here with the uh, about a 1400 square foot office, mother-in-law suite, what have you. It's uh, winter time right now, so they got the pool covered, but they've got an area here for a garden. Uh, you'll see the covering on top of that is to keep the deer and all the uh, critters from eating your, your, uh, your stuff. And then up there, we've got a um, hot tub, so you can enjoy the hot tub and the views and the cool nights. And then the very, very large deck underneath. And this is all uh, dried in underneath to some degree. And um, you've got seating down here, all the way across with absolutely gorgeous views. And then going into the back of the house. So I'm gonna take you back inside and show you the master. Oh, by the way, this goes up to the front of the house on the driveway and uh, I'll take you in here to the guest suite. So as we walk back through, the guest suite is over here. Just is the same size as the master, so you can put a guest down here. They've got their own exit out the back, and then an ensuite bathroom as well with tiled floors, storage, very, very large walk-in closet here, and, and the uh, full bathroom as well. So this is all set up very nicely. Bath, shower, tub combination, all ready to go. Good storage underneath. And they've actually set up a little room back here, a little multimedia room for watching movies. It's just all blackout, so there's no uh, windows in here. They've got it used as a little bit of storage right now as their children have grown up and moved out of the house. So this is just a small little room to watch movies and what have you. And then there's some storage, raw storage behind here with the HVAC systems and all your mechanicals and those things which are in great order. So we're going to walk back upstairs and I'll take you to the, uh, the upstairs bedrooms. So there's one bedroom, or one bedroom down here. You've got the master on the main. And then we've got three or four bedrooms upstairs, I believe. Start losing track here. The house is so big. But very, very well maintained property. We're ready to move in today. We come through the dining room. They go up the grand staircase. And I'll give you some perspective here what we're going up to with the chandelier. All wood floors throughout. There's no carpet in this house. So great for allergies. And then we've got the nice look over here on the balcony, looking down out to our uh, beautiful view. It's even better up here. So this looks down onto the uh, grand piano and the wooden floors. And I'll take you, here's a, a bathroom right off the main hallway. Full bath, once again, full shower, very well maintained, excellent flooring. We come back this way to one of three bedrooms up here. This bedroom here shares a Jack and Jill bathroom. Excellent storage, nice smooth ceilings, ceiling fans and window treatment stay. And here's the Jack and Jill. As you can see, plenty of storage here. This is outside, you've got a door separating the bathroom so you can use your sink. The other person could be using the commode or taking a shower. And it comes into the other bathroom, which is a, another sink here, as well as a, uh, like a makeup counter, if you will. So if you have a daughter that wants her own bathroom, she's got a place for her cosmetics and what have you. <clears throat> Here's the second bedroom upstairs, very, very large, probably 15 by 20, with tons of storage and views out the back of the house as well. By the way, I also want to mention that the whole house is set up with an intercom system uh, and music throughout the house with speakers in the ceiling. And once again, the hardwood floors. Towards the back of the house, you've got another bedroom. Their uh, child's moved out, so they use this as a sitting room to watch the sunrise in the morning when it's a little cool out. Once again, the panoramic views out the back of this room. Beautiful, beautiful room. So we go into another full ensuite here. Nice enclosure, very well lit, smooth ceilings throughout. We go to the third bedroom. Well, this actually is the third bedroom. So we've seen all three bedrooms. So what I'll do is I'll stop right now and we will go to the office up above the four car garage.